you space babes, it's Ellie. I am back for ACEO April and I could not be more excited. I believe and pretty sure ACEO April was the point where I fully became online and was sharing my art. <laughs> I had just recently graduated from college and I didn't know what I wanted to do and then I saw the event of ACEO April where you do a two and a half by three and a half inch card and do an original piece of art every single day and I was like that's something simple that I could achieve it's within you know I can finish that within five minutes or an hour it's an achievable task and it really it helped me grow and become confident and experiment and I'm so glad I did it and was able to do it and I highly recommend others doing it because it's not that intimidating you don't have to do one big grand piece it's just one little small and it's always pretty cute and look everything that's small is always cute so you can't go wrong. And if it does look bad, just throw some glitter on it. It's still cute. I know this year for ACEO April, they um, there is a themed list, but for some reason I have just been so overwhelmingly stressed. I just I just need to do art to be happy and not feel like it's homework because every day already feels like homework. I have probably a pile of over 50 um, works in progress ATCs or ACEOs, the same thing. Uh, so I figured, you know, this is a perfect time if I'm too tired after work. I already have an idea sit, sitting there. Why not just finish it? So I just need to tackle through it or else it's just paper sitting over there. For the work in progress ATCs, and I just had a cute like little summertime popsicle. For some reason, I'm just really wanting some sun and some warmth. I'm tired of being cold and rainy. I just, I know I'm in California and my winter is nothing compared to other states. Like I'm just in yoga pants and Uggs and I'm shivering like but I'm just like I need sun I need to be a chihuahua laying in the grass being baked by the sun I just oh I want to be warm and so and then the other ATC is um Noriku from Fushigi Yugi it's one of my favorite animes I know fangirl but this one goes back from me being like middle school dweeb and I'm just like oh I love the, like I love the storyline. I think it was great and amazing and under like I don't know many people who even think it exists and it was just I think great for its time. Um, <laughs> um, so I just plan on doing this time just to experiment, just to have fun and figure out what I really want to do or focus on because while I love markers, they are expensive. Okay, like I went from oil paints thinking oh markers are cheaper. Yes, they are cheaper than oil paints, but gosh, like oh. Mm. So I'm trying to figure out a transition with also keeping, like I love markers for their bright, vibrant colors, but I'm trying to transition into watercolors, but I remember struggling with that quite a bit in college. So it'll, it'll just be like, I'll just have to take a few days and just practice, you know how it is. So that's really what I wanted to focus on, is just being loose and just trying different styles. And I'm always so, like, everything's lined and in the lines, colored perfectly. I'm trying to figure out this way of being more loose and expressive and less lines, but lines to define. If this makes sense, it's a balance. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what's working, what's not working, and that's what this is. It's supposed to be just my experimentation month. And so I decided that I was going to experiment with some of these watercolor babes. I was just going to splash some colors and throw down hair. And I wanted to see how the ink would react with the watercolor because I love how the ink is so vibrant. While watercolor is great, mine, they still have that, you know, earth tone quality. I need, for me, I need that pigmented, plastic, show me the money colors. <laughs> It's just like I just want to have fun. It's springtime, you know what? Because outside there's like millions of birds, and like there's a field, and they just brought goats. Oh, I, can't, I love walking my dog over there because then there's also a bird pond with some bunny rabbits and then coyotes at night. But no, 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 thank you. <laughs> uh, but anyway, anyway, uh, leave a comment down below saying which ATC was your favorite that I made this week. I know my, well, I think they're all my favorite, but they're all not my favorite. So weird. <laughs> Having fun, and you know what? These girls kind of look cute. I mean, not they, they have their errors, and I see it, but don't worry. I'm like, girl, we on to something. It's okay.
I also have this ATC of my coworker. She's moving away soon. I wanted to make her a cute going away gift, so this is my little thing. And I think it really represents her, so hopefully she loves it. I guess here's a little sneak peek of my art binder. I'm hoping to do an ATC art binder tour soon. I just love mine so much. I almost like don't want to share because I'm like, it's so personal, it's so colorful, it's so meant like for me, but it's like, I also want to show everybody because there's so many great artists that have collaborated with me and I would love to have reach out and to do more. I feel like I haven't done a really good amount of collabs this year. It was more last year and now it's like, wait, I feel it. Like, I miss you guys. Like, I'm sorry. Anyway, I think that is it. I have talked way too much. I don't talk often, so yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to talk to you guys, and I will see you space babes later. Bye!